back now at 818 with more of our special series, Have You Ever? Our chance to try some things we've never done before. I got to risk life and limb to change a light bulb on top of the George Washington Bridge here over New York and New Jersey. Natalie flew through the air with the greatest of ease on the flying trapeze. This morning, it's Anne's turn. That's right. I decided to go the other direction and kind of stay on solid ground. And I quickly learned that sometimes just putting your best foot forward can be a real challenge. Attention all marching band members, please report to the band's room immediately. Common stereotype is the band kids aren't the cool kids in the school. They think kids in band are like dorky. I guess band geek could be a word. Here it's just totally different. After the halftime show, a lot of the people actually leave because most people come to see the halftime show. My advice for Anne is to work hard and to stay focused. Bravo! Wow. But I don't know how you can play and march at the same time. That is going to be hard to learn. Okay, now what? Okay, then I go like this? <laughs> oh, this thing's heavy. Okay. is so funny. Come on. Is that on my lap? Oh. Is that on my lap? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Ten. Hut. Being in the Bergenfield marching band is basically being in the military. Are you ticklish? It takes a lot of discipline. I'm very impressed. <laughs> sorry. That's so easy. I can't believe you march in this thing. No, you have to stand at attention, though. You're not standing at attention. Okay. You have to have your feet together. Right. You can't lean back, and you have to be looking straight forward. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Like that? Yeah, close enough. But now you're not playing in the center of the gym. No, you're still not. Right there. Bossy. One, two, three, four. This can go terribly wrong in a lot of ways. <laughs> If she goes in the wrong direction, if she's on the wrong foot, if she's not in line with people. 198 needs to become one. And if we all do that, then we just sound awesome. And if Anne messes us up, it could be catastrophic. It's a feeling you can't get anywhere else. You're all going for the same common goal. And it's kind of a magical thing when everybody accomplishes it. I get it. I get why you love this. That was pretty good, Anne. Wait, 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 where did you go? Anne, Anne, where are you? Anne?
197. That's right. It's going to take forever to get the ball. We haven't seen Ann yet. That's right. I think we're coming up. I got the, the drums are coming. Here she comes. Ladies and gentlemen, Ann Curry. It's a terrific thing for your kids to do. I didn't hear anything after you I said, I want to say. say. Yeah. That no, was I'm it. No, I'm kidding. The <laughs> I'm yes. kidding. But anyway, look, it was a lot of fun. And you stayed in step. Very impressive. Very well, you nice. know, they taught me how to do it. In fact, when I showed up, I said, left foot or right foot first. And they made sure I knew it was the left, left foot, foot first. Yep. And yeah. you were in a band. I was in a band. Xavier High School marching band. Yes. Yeah. I played flute. Actually, they started me on piano. You couldn't keep up. It was too difficult. It was too difficult. that piano Very cute. Hey, we've got we've got winter weather moving into the New York area, so we're going to get you some great information on getting into beautiful weather and getting on a cruise. Thanks to Condé's Traveler Magazine and its readers, we're going to rank and have the results of the top cruise ships in the world. And Plus, our kids are all, they, they know everything about all those smartphones out there. But if you're a little bit older and you want a phone that's not loaded with features uh, that you'll never use, what do you do? Well, we're going to run you through some of the best options for cell phones for those of us who are a little bit on the older side. And if you want to find a great place to eat, where do you turn? The Zagat's Food Guide, right? Well, in mm -hmm. fact, there are some new entries this year, and we'll be taking a look at what those are. All right, and then also we have some help for headache sufferers, how to tell the difference between a tension headache and a migraine. Dr. Nancy Sandman is going to be along with some good advice. We have a lot to get to, but first, you may know her as a correspondent on The Daily Show, but she is also one of the stars oh, of fine. NBC's new <laughs> comedy called Perfect Couples, oh, Olivia Munn. Olivia, nice to Hi, see you. Hi, thanks for welcome. having me. Perfect Couple sounds a little like an oxymoron, but I'm sure it's not. What's the show about? Well, it, um, it opens with a plane crash. And then somewhere wow. in season two, there's a polar bear. Um, you're going to love it. You're just going to love it. Wow. That sounds like something that was already on. It was a big hit already. And uh, I was hoping it'll go again. No, it's about uh, three different couples. And uh, we're all striving for perfection. But um, I think like my life kind of plays out in, in, in actual in every day is that it's very yeah, complicated and bumbly. Your character is, in fact, kind of a, a self-appointed relationship guru. 
Yes, um, a self-appointed or I think everybody else would. I, I, Lee likes to think that everybody would appoint her. But th we're the couple sure. that gives you a, a box of self-help books for you know your anniversary, uh. <laughs> and uh, I'll buy you lingerie for you know for your husband to give to you. Uh -huh. And uh. Uh, you know it's just we just we love like relationships and love, and we want we're that people who give you unsolicited advice. And, and I know there's a great team behind the show. The uh. Creative, you've got the executive producers from shows like Seinfeld, Friends, Thirty Rock, and I know that yeah. Tina Fey even recommended you. How yeah. did she know you? Well, I auditioned for a role on Thirty Rock, and. Uh, I just, I didn't get it, um, uh, Elizabeth Banks, um, <laughs> but at, um, my executive producers, they asked Robert Carlock and Tina Fey, who, who out there do you think is a, is a funny actress, and they, as it's told to me, they said my name, so. Well, that's great. Yeah. Wow, what yes. a yes. 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 That's, that's, good. Good. that's really good. We love having you here on NBC. Good luck with the show, oh, yeah. Olivia. Thank you for having me. This is so exciting. I watch you guys all the time, and I'm just That's why we brought the band in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys are doing great. You know any bone thugs? No? <laughs> <laughs> just a reminder, <laughs> Perfect not. Couples, you can watch the premiere. That's tonight, 8.30, 7.30 Central Time, right here on NBC. Mr. Roker, how about a check of the weather? That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Now, thanks for much weather headlines pointing to a dry commute today in the morning hours as well as in the evening hours. That's going to change this time tomorrow, though. Snow moves in overnight tonight. Winter weather advisory in effect. And then bitter cold air is going to follow for the weekend. Here's your seven-day forecast. Today, again, sun and clouds, 32. Snow develops overnight tonight. Steadiest into tomorrow morning, 3 to 5 inches possible. 33, it's gone by tomorrow afternoon. The cold replaces the snow, though, over the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, sunshine both days. High temperatures right around 20 degrees. And that's your latest weather. All right, before I get out of this outfit, I want to thank no, uh, Brian. Don't get out I of am Brian Timmons, who, who's the director of the Bergenfield High School Marching Band, and also to Robin Sindler, who produced the segment. Thank you so much, you guys. And as they play us out, we want to tell you that coming up next, we're going to tell you the